Hi all, this is my V-gate magnetic motor. This was an attempt to create a zero energy device, but not seriously, wasn't expecting it to actually work. But one thing led to another, and I created this crazy contraption. Check it out. I'm not going to try and explain the full functionality of these V-gate motors, just maybe a, a basic description of uh, what makes them work. So basically if a magnet is applied to this V shape in a cylinder, that um, causes it to rotate. And it'll rotate until it gets to the point where the V shape uh, rotates back onto itself. At this point, that causes a resistance in the rotation, and that's where you want to remove the magnet uh, applied to the to the V-gate. So that's where you want to lift the uh, the magnet away from the cylinder and that's done in this example with this cam. Uh, this is uh, I believe the resistance that produced uh, by the cam far outweighs the uh, torque that the motor can produce. So I don't believe this actually would work. I tried a few different approaches to get around that problem uh, such as uh, setting up a cam which was geared to the main cylinder with a rotating magnet uh, that way it uh, hopefully uh, produced less drag and uh, unfortunately that didn't work unfortunately I didn't document all these uh, or photo make photos of all of these different variations um, but uh, in the end I did just uh, give up on the idea of producing a zero energy device and I thought let's just drive the thing uh, with the uh, with some solenoids connected to the to the magnet that way moving the magnet in and out um, to drive the actual rotation. So what's retro about this? Well I decided to use my Commodore 64 as the controller to do this. And here it is in action. So I've got the Commodore 64 program to control the um, solenoids and I've got the program uh, taking key inputs that allow me to control the speed and increase the speed both for the time that the solenoids are engaged and not engaged. So a bit of a balance, balancing act to get that right. Probably a Hall effect sensor to feed back into the software to control this would have been smarter but uh, this worked, this was good enough. So as you can see I'm cranking it up by reducing the time it's spending both engaged and disengaged and I've basically got to about 500 RPM when as you can see it's lost sync. So here's the basic setup. I've got a full relay board, probably intended for a Raspberry Pi or an uh, Arduino rather than a Commodore 64, but it worked. The only thing I'd watch for here is that the maximum current draw on the Commodore 64 is 100 milliamps, and I uh, did a bit of measuring and just using the one uh, relay in the full relay board here was drawing about 80 milliamps, so I definitely would not use this for more than the one relay, uh, unless you want to risk frying your CIA chips. So yeah, just the one relay, I think it's just fine. Um, and as you can see, the, uh, the green and the red wire, that's the 12 volts coming off a car battery going to the solenoids. Okay, let's have a look at how I've connected the Commodore 64 user port to the four relay board. Okay, from the top, of the user port, pin 2 is 5 volts went to 5 volts on the relay board, I got ground from the bottom side of the port, pin A and I got the signal from port, sorry, from the uh, pin C on the bottom of the user port, also uh, labelled PB0 in the uh, user manual. And this is the super simple Commodore 64 program I wrote to uh, control the, the VGAT motor uh, up the top we just got a few poke statements that set up the user port and uh, really there's just a couple of four next loops that control how long the solenoids engage and how long they disengage and there's some variables F and T um, what they do is they control how long it's spending in each of those states engage and disengage and then I grab the uh, an input character uh, with a get statement and with that I increase and decrease how long those um, cycles go for. I also use the inbuilt TI timer variable 
uh, within the Commodore 64 BASIC to uh, calculate the RPM. And so what's the point of this contraption? I have no idea. I tried to come up with a zero energy device, only half-heartedly, I've got to admit I never expected it would work, but I had a bit of fun in the process. But in the end I just wanted to get the thing to work one way or another. And this is how I got there. I hope you found this remotely interesting, if not completely useless. Like and subscribe, and all that. Thanks a lot.